Good day, everyone. It is I, Hypnosis Tarot, and on today we, well, I am reading for the Sun Sign Taurus uh, for the month of March. So let's get into it. I've already shuffled. So, Taurus. For one, it seems as though Taurus is having some sort of situation in which they're kind of trapping themselves. Um, whether it be with their thoughts or what other people think of them at this time. Uh, also, they're kind of bound by themselves, in a sense. They do have a way out, but it's as though they don't see it or refuse to see it, okay? They refuse to see this way out. Or maybe there's a lot of confusion there because... And you have the two of swords here on being um, on having to choose a path, but also protecting yourself, right? So this is a situation in which maybe Taurus feels like they can't bust a move um, due to them having to be very careful, whether it be about what they say, how they're thinking, but like more in a sense of uh, being mindful of what they say to another. And this could have to do with family. So this may be what's making it even more sticky for the Taurus, for immediate family and the home life situation. So it could be that maybe Taurus wants to move somewhere else. Perhaps, you know, their current situation could be with their immediate family. Maybe they're ready to do or, or, or move somewhere else. But there's a hesitation here for Taurus, okay? I might have to come back to that. So, uh, for happiness, there has to be, for ha well, for fulfillment. Um, you have the Nine of Cups here regarding fulfillment. So, in order for Taurus to have fulfillment, well, one of the ways to is to find some sort of balance within themselves, within their mindset, um, and they need peace of mind. More specifically, within their relationships, partnerships, whether this is through... Um, Business partnership, family, relationships, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, and that's just not for, uh, to say uh, love relationships, right? But even friendships, right? So in order to have fulfillment, in this particular instance, it does speak about relationships, but also money. So perhaps the Taurus may be feeling some kind of way due to their money situation. They very well may not be happy. There's something about Taurus's life right now that they're not happy and they're ready to walk away from. Okay? And it could have to do with their relationship. I don't see a specific individual here, but it does look as though maybe, because the father's words at the bottom of the deck, and maybe someone is attempting to manipulate the Taurus. Or maybe the Taurus is manipulating someone else so that they don't have to do these things. That they don't have to be more stable and steady. And share. And, and be balanced. So it could very well be the Taurus. Uh, the Taurus's energy on someone else. Whether it's a man or a, a, a man or a woman that's a Taurus. They could be pushing this energy on somewhere, someone else where the other person is feeling this way. They're feeling like, oh gosh, this is, you know, I don't really know what to do. Or the tourists are saying to themselves, they don't know what to do because they're too much in their head. They want what they want when they want it. They want their stability, their fulfillment. But there's some, there may be some sort of hesitation there. They may be even be considering leaving this particular individual. So this can go both ways. It could be the tourist to someone else or vice versa. Someone doing this to the tourist. So. The tourist here is walking away, but walking toward money opportunities. Or perhaps some tourists want to move away or go toward Something that is not so ideal uh, to their particular situation at this time. So perhaps maybe they want to work away from home or they want to uh, follow a new opportunity or, you know, seek out something different. But it's it's against the grain, if you will, or not commonly accepted. So, but they, they this is their intent. So this is either the Taurus or someone that is around the Taurus, right? But there are opportunities 
monetary opportunities. But then there's also a feeling of like a lot has been lost for the Taurus. And they're just they're trying to get back up their balance, their weight, their monies. So it says if the Taurus does want to move now, this could be a monetary situation, uh career, passions, and really a stability and their values, the opportunity to seek out and and live in the value mindset that they have for themselves. Right? But there seems to be a lot of emotion, like a lot of emotions surrounding this situation. Like it's not that easy for the Taurus to make this particular decision. But there is a, a Queen of Pentacles here. There is a, a, a female Earth sign, a, a, a female Earth sign that is in this that plays a part in this situation, and she may be walking away. She may be walking away from the Taurus to seek out. What she sincerely values. So, Taurus men, if you this is you, this could very well be that the women or woman that you are dealing with, they've had enough and they want. If, if you're not committing, or if you're in a partnership, a monetary partnership, they may be looking elsewhere at this time to fulfill themselves on a value level because perhaps it's that the Taurus is not giving, and this could be for Taurus men and women, but more specifically, I'm going to say. Since this is a, a, a woman as the, queen, as, as the Queen of Pentacles, this woman, they don't have to be an earth sign, right? Because even though Pentacles correlate with earth, they could it could just be that they are ready to seek out other options that correlate with their values. So why, you know, for example, why be with someone who's not, you know, Who's not on the same wave in the sense of they want to have multiple partners or they want to lie or, you know, that sort of thing. And this Queen of Pentacles is like, no, I want foundation. I want stability. I want more. I want someone who has the same value mindset that I do. And they may be even playing games right now on a, on a mental level. Not really games, but... Kind of just like ducking and dodging if the Taurus is asking them things. Or the Taurus is doing this to them. The Taurus could be kind of manipulating them. Like, oh, you know, it's all good. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Even if it's a business relationship, it's just sort of like the Taurus is not getting it. The Taurus man, I want to say more specifically, they're not getting it. And so they're, 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 they very well may lose uh, suffer a loss at this time when it comes to their uh, partnerships, relationships, business relationships. And they need to... Uh, be wise about the situation. You know, um, what comes to mind is to be humble. You know, because sometimes people get, you know, they start feeling themselves. They're in a certain place in life. And they begin to do too much. So, Taurus, be mindful of that. Uh, stay humble. Um, if you don't want to lose, whether it be in a career, job, partnerships, um relationships, you're going to have to really reevaluate your own value system and what it is that you sincerely desire. So that is all for Taurus for the month of March. I will see you next time.